Matthew came into his mum's and my lives, and we were so proud. Didn't like school much, but was more interested in sport. So on a weekend, Don would go to the footy oval, and all the other dads standing on the sideline, and Matthew would kick a goal, and Dad would have the chest out. Very proud dad. So I met a five-year-old Melissa. She was sweet. Young, cute little girl, an independent, strong woman, a devoted and loving mother, and now a caring, loving and supporting wife. And then all of a sudden, this girl started hanging around. Her name was Mel. I thought, hang on here, he's batting well above his average. <laughs> Uh, and it was this male, not the other male they talked about. <laughs> so now, Matthew, I didn't meet you when you were five. I met you when you were about 17, I think. I could see that he had been really well brought up. He was caring, he was respectful, but above all, he had really strong family values. So Genevieve and I are so proud, and I don't think it needs to be said, but I think we're so proud to welcome you officially into our family, and we love you as much as we love Melissa, so thank you. I once had this conversation with a very special lady. If you aren't aware who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Matt's beautiful mum, Anne. She said to me something that I've never forgotten, and that was, Cookie, I don't know why he bothers. They're not Mel, and he's only going to end up marrying Mel. She's the only one who can handle him. <laughs> well, I'd like to say this, and once again, you were right. When Matt got wind that down the road from his house there was a girl called Mel, a similar age and throwing a pool party with all the girlfriends. She had noticed Matt and she wasn't going to let him get away that quickly. So the wind in her hair and the frilly red bikini, she ran down the street to find her big stomach. <laughs> a few back and forths from one party to another, a lot of teenage flirting and then finally in Mel's driveway leaning up on the dad's car. Mel and Matt had their very first bash. <laughs> and the rest is their history. Today you stand here with the love of your life, ready to make this beautiful commitment to each other. I promise to take care for you always and be the man that makes you feel loved and cherished for the rest of your life. I promise to try and be the best dad to little Archie and any more children that may be on their way in the future. And most of all, I promise to turn my socks in the right way before putting them in the washing basket. <laughs> I love you.
as your wife, I promise to always go for the bombers and the tigers I'm playing. Mm. I promise to try to understand the rules of cricket and not ask who's winning halfway through a match. <laughs> and I promise to love you and our family for the rest of my life. You were my first love and my last love. And to find each other again years later when we both needed each other the most just makes me sure that you were always meant to be in my life and I was always meant for yours. Although neither of us will ever admit who made the first move, everyone knows it was you. <laughs> I think it was very clear that we had both found our forever person and the feeling I know will never disappear. I love you. There are two very special ladies in these pairs' lives. They're not here today. They are actually watching from heaven. Of course, that's Matthew's mum and Mel's nan, and they are sending all their love straight to your heart, wishing you two the best for your future. And let me tell you, heaven will be rocking tonight. So we'd be really happy, you know, for you to have love, laughter and happiness in your marriage. And we hope, not in a creepy way, that we'll share your marriage. And, um, you know, we continue to be a strong part of your lives. So having said that, if you could all charge your glasses to Melissa and Matthew, Mr and Mrs Stevenson. Tamara and I, we're both so proud of you both. You work so hard and have created a beautiful life together. We hope you have a great life together and can't wait to watch where this partnership goes. Can I go? <laughs> To my wife, thank you for allowing to be me to be me and tolerating me at the best and the worst of times. I love you like you wouldn't believe and I look forward to everything coming our way. Thank you and let's party. Yeah.